my groom on our wedding day. Well, it looks like we finally made it. Today is the day I get to marry you. My best friend, partner in crime, rock, and so much more. When I tell you that I love the life we have built together, I mean it. We're building a beautiful home together, playing with Charlie, many adventures, and even just nights at home. I love it all, and that is because of you. I enter in today without fear or hesitation, because I know in my heart that no matter what, we will be okay. Well, baby, our day is finally here. I'm convinced nobody else could have hung in there through the year and a half of constant setbacks and moments of disappointment like you and I have experienced. Although discouraging at times, I know it's brought us that much closer together as a team. I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle with your dad and see the look of pride on his face for the woman you've become. I know you're going to look absolutely stunning in your dress and I'm so excited to soon be able to call you mine forever. We've started to build an incredible life together with Charlie that hopefully only continues to grow as we enter that next chapter of our lives together. In a few hours, I'll be able to share with you in front of all of our family and friends just how much you mean to me. And I cannot wait. There's nothing in this world we can't tackle together. Forever yours, Eric. And while I know that our love came easy, I also know that we both made a choice. We made the decision to pick each other, to work at it every day, and to try to be the best versions of ourselves for each other. I promise I will continue to make the, that choice every day. Now let's turn our sights on today. It's been a longer road than we had planned, but we made it. Let's have the best freaking day together. Let's soak it all in. Let's freaking party. I love you. You're always, Sarah. There is nothing that makes me happier and prouder than knowing that I get to be your wife today. That I get to marry my best friend and my biggest supporter. From the moment I met you, I knew that we'd be standing here today. It was in the way that you brought tangerines in your pocket to the movies because you knew they were my favorite, danced with me to my dream wedding song without even knowing, and bought skis without ever skiing because you knew that for this to work you had to be able to keep up. To me, saying the words I love you has always felt a little bit unusual. I struggle with the fact that four letters can possibly get across what you feel for someone in certain moments. When you see someone dancing like a fool just to put a smile on a stranger's face, what do you call that? When you see someone bending over backwards for a friend because they deserve to be celebrated, what do you call that? When you know someone has stepped up for their family when they could have taken the easy way out, what do you call that? Amazing. That's what you are, Sarah Catherine Nichols, simply amazing. You're the kindest, warmest, hardworking, beautiful soul I've ever met. Always ready to drop everything in a moment's notice to help somebody else in need. It's true that our love has come easily and naturally, but it's also true that we have both made a choice and commitment to work at this every single day. And I promise that I will never stop trying. Those who know me know that I've dreamt about what this moment would look like for as long as I can remember. You've exceeded all of my wild, wildest expectations and dreams for who would be standing in front of me. You have the most amazing smile, the purest beliefs, and a heart that loves others relentlessly. I have learned, sorry, I have learned so much from you about what it means to love unconditionally and wholeheartedly. You make me feel more beautiful, valued, and loved than I could ever imagine. Thank you for being you and for bringing out the best in me. People talk about luck and fate, but I don't subscribe to either camp. I believe people come in and out of your life at the time they're supposed to. And I'm forever grateful for when you walked into mine. 
I could have stayed that weirdo that's not clementizing to our first movie date just because you said you loved them, but you, did, you saw something in me. Exactly what? I'm not sure. But I bet I owe your old roommate and my now good friend, Marissa Wesley, a big thank you for that. I know her story still has plenty of scary and exciting chapters still to be written, and I wouldn't have it any other way. May you always maintain a healthy marriage, live a happy life, laugh often, and forgive quickly. As we look to what's next for us, I'm so excited for what life will inevitably have in store. I may not be able to promise that our kids won't inherit my athleticism, or that I'll ever stop buying Charlie toys, or that hard things won't come our way, but I can promise you that I'll always be your biggest cheerleader, your greatest ally, and most importantly, your best friend. You're my greatest achievement my favorite person and the love of my life. I love you. I vow to see this life through to the end, walking hand in hand. I vow to spend my whole life loving you till mountains turn to sand.